chapter 13, the Lord's Supper. Now before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that his hour had come and it was time for him to leave the world and return to his father. Having greatly loved his own who were in the world, he loved them and continuously loves them with his perfect love to the end eternally. It was during supper when the devil had already put the thought of betraying Jesus into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, that Jesus, knowing that the Father had put everything into his hands and that he had come from God and was now returning to God, got up from supper, took off his outer robe, and taking a servant's towel, he tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into the basin and began washing the disciples' feet and wiping them with his towel, which was tied around his waist. When he came to Simon Peter, he said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied to him, You do not realize now what I'm doing, but you will fully understand it later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet, Jesus answered. Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. We can have nothing to do with each other. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, in that case... Wash not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, Anyone who is bathed needs only to wash his feet, and that's completely clean. And you, my disciples, are clean, but not all of you. For he knew who was going to betray him. For that reason, he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he'd washed their feet and put on his outer robe and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you understand what I've done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right in doing so, for that is who I am. So if I, the Lord, and the teacher washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet as well. For I give you this as an example, so that you should do in turn as I did to you. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, a slave is not greater than his master, nor is one who is sent greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed, happy, and favored by God, if you put them into practice and faithfully do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but this has happened in order that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who eats my bread has raised up his heel against me as my enemy. Psalm 41, 9. From now on, I am telling you what will happen before it occurs so that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he who I say I am, the Christ, the anointed, the Messiah. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, The one who receives and welcomes whomever I send receives me, and the one who receives me receives him who sent me in that same way. After Jesus had said these things, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, I assure you and solemnly say to you, one of you will betray me and hand me over. The disciples began looking at one another puzzled and disturbed as to whom he could mean. One of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, esteemed, was leaning against Jesus' chest, so Simon Peter motioned to John, him, and quietly asked him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. Then leaning back against Jesus' chest, he, John, asked him privately, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I am going to give this piece of bread after I have dipped it. So when he had dipped the piece of bread into the dish, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After Judas had taken the piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, What you're going to do, do quickly, without delay. But no one reclining at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas was the treasurer of the group he had and had the money box, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the feast, or that he was to give something to the poor. After taking the piece of bread, he went out immediately, and it was night. So when Judas had left, Jesus said, Now is the time for the Son of Man to be glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify him, the Son, in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you are not able to come. I am giving you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, So you too are to love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have love and unselfish concern for one another, Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I'm going, you cannot follow me now, but you will be able to follow me later. Peter said, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. 
Jesus answered, Will you really lay down your life for me? I assure you and most solemnly say to you, Before rooster crows, you will die on me and completely disown me three times.